Hi everyone, my name is Ronan Isaac and I'm the VP over at WLandMall.com. Uh, thank you for joining us on um, this presentation of uh, how Milestone Expertech Smart Client works. Um, this is a series of small videos explaining the f basic functionality of the Milestone Expertech Smart Client. And um, the first one we did was creating a view and uh, this one is going to be uh, the basic features of live view so if you remember from last time and just a quick recap uh, we created this 2x2 two two view um, by going into the setup tab creating a shared folder and dragging and dropping these cameras into this 2x2 two two view um, so now we're going to actually look at the basic functionality of the live view. When you're watching live cameras there's obviously not much that's going to be going on. Uh, it's mostly passive um, but uh, there are some great functions and features here uh, in Milestone that let you do some really neat things. So first off we'll start by uh, just outlining a little bit about what these uh, boxes are here on the left hand side the views that's pretty self-explanatory this will be populated with all the shared and private views that you and others have created uh, and you can switch from one to another rather quickly just by clicking on um, the next view um, the events button uh, this is if you set up events in the back end that you know tell a PTZ camera to swing around to a certain preset or something of that nature you can select that event and activate it. Uh, output is another great feature of this software. You can actually attach uh, devices to a specific camera. For example, a uh, automatic door latch or access control or an external light uh, or something of that nature and um, trigger those those outputs or those actions right from this right from this Expertech Smart Client. So let's say I wanted to let somebody in. I would see them on one of these cameras. They would buzz. And I would then select the open door and then activate and the door would open. Uh, audio, that's self-explanatory. If you do have uh, audio channels coming in, um, you'll be able to listen to that here. Um, and this is one of the better features. PTZ control. This is for uh, traditional PTZ cameras uh, that are that mechanically move around and you also have the option for digital zoom where you can digitally zoom in just by dragging a, a square around an image and then pan and tilt by either by clicking on these arrows uh, so that covers this left side a little bit let's focus uh, for really briefly actually on this right side so we have these four cameras here but um, you really want to know or you want to see what's going on down on this IQI on the bottom left hand side so all you do is double click on it and it fills up the entire screen now you really get a detailed view so again you can digitally pan tilt and zoom you can zoom in on a specific area for example this Dell box you know or you wanted to see who walked through this door so you can zoom in on that this is a 3 megapixel camera so we actually have quite a bit of pixels to play with so when we do digitally zoom in we don't get too much pixelation um, take that off double click again it brings you right back to your view and uh, that's really all that's going on here